hi, 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 and welcome to LNA Does Audio Stuff. Today, I will be attempting to explain compressor in only four minutes. Let's see if you understand it in the end of it. Let's hope so. Let's go for it now. Here we go. Okay, so the perspective, the point of compressor is to reduce gain, reduce the dynamic range of a signal. What is dynamic range? I have here a drum loop in front of me. It's very dynamic. We have these transients that are quite higher in volume than example some of these bits here in the middle. So basically dynamic range can be measured between the highest of the, the loudest point of the signal to the quietest point of the signal. Okay, so dynamic range is that. And what does compressor do? Reduces dynamic range. And by doing that, it reduces gain. So the, actually, you are making things quieter with compressor, okay? But by doing that, so you are taking some of the signal quieter. So example, let's say you would make these transients quieter, but by doing that, you're also bringing these quieter bits higher. So you're kind of like doing this movement here. So I have here a signal. And you can see on the left here, there's a fader, and this is the incoming signal. So it's about, let's make it a little bit louder. Oh, Whew. I feel almost, okay. You can see the volume on the left, and then this is the out Put. So that is volume going out of the compressor. So vol this is the signal going in com com to compressor, and this is the signal going out of the compressor. Okay, so what compressor does is that we are finding threshold. So we are finding this point of the signal, which above everything of the signal, we will compress. So example, let's have a look at this. So let's say the, uh, the highest point of the signal goes about minus 12 and the lowest around minus 18. If we now want to compress the whole signal, remember everything above a threshold will be compressed. I will find example, you know, what was it? 18. So I might go minus 20. That means most of the signal will be compressed. Ratio is the amount of compression. How much compression will be applied? How much do you want? How harsh do you want it? So if you want to have a quite easy compressor, maybe have it, have it around 2.1. If you want to have it more, have it maybe 6 or so on. Attack and release is how is the compressor reacting after the threshold? So when it goes to the threshold, how is it like, is it going to go like very fast? and then come back slower? Or is it gonna go slow and then go back uh, faster? So that's basically the basic controls. But why you always think that compressor actually makes everything louder is because the makeup gain is on. So we need to take that off and we will actually do the makeup gain manually. So now if I put the threshold down, and put more ratio, can you see what's happened? So the input is louder than the output. Do, 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 because it reduces gain, even has a measurement on the middle, says GR, gain reduction. It reduces gain. Now we can use this output gain to match it up. And now we have a very compressed signal and we made sure with the output gain we're balancing it out and we're making sure that the input and the output are the same so we have a compressed signal but it doesn't sound quieter that's basically it if you will oh eight seven seconds left three two one done done Stop. If you would like to learn a little bit more about compressor with more time, because I, that was a very fast explanation, I have plenty of videos on it where I explain it in peace and with calmness. So I have uh, explanation and why to apply it videos linked down below. So go and check those out. Also, the fader that I used in this video is uh, available to download on my website because I created it in Max for Live. Subscribe, hit the bell icon and come again because a lot of more of these kind of videos and longer videos and all kind of videos coming up in my channel. Bye!